YouTube, what's going on? Your favorite bro Chasky had to make an appearance for this video because with this video here, it's going to be a creative list. This one has never been done before. I'm going to give you top five headache inducing fragrances. New releases of 2023. I also want to give a shout out to my ball bro, Ross from TLTG. He said that Chad is cringy as can be and you know what? He's Captain Cringe and he owns it. So this video is for you, Rossi baby. First fragrance to make the cut, and this is in no particular order, is going to be Emporio Armani Stronger with You. I just did a video on it, but this video might go out first. This is definitely a bro type of fragrance. Now it's got like vanilla, it's got amber, but it's also got like lavender. It's very heavy in the amber and vanilla. This is a headache inducing bro kind of fragrance. You really have to watch your applications on it because, oh my God, the sweetness in this will give you cavities. Now, if you're looking for a bad bunny type of fragrance that's going to bag you the bad bunnies, that's triple B right there, you know, not big bit business. A shout out to Buck, you know. Buck is cool. I like Buck, you know. He, he's all about hail the beard, you know. Well, my beard, you know, I lack the testosterone, so I clearly can't grow one properly. It's a little bit patchy, as you can tell. But this will definitely bag you the bad bunnies. You know, this is a night out type of fragrance, but I gotta warn you guys, easy on the applications because this one just does project and it lasts forever and a day. Like I'm talking like 10 hours or more, the sillage and the projection are like John Cena kind of monsters. You know, when he's flexing and you got like the lightning bolt, oh yeah. You gotta be easy on the applications. No more than two sprays, bros. Fragrance number dos. Oh, this stuff here is masculine. It's very much like me, and this will go perfect with a black tee and a leather jacket because I am one badass mofo. That's gonna be Hugo Boss Boss Bottled Elixir. Oh, this stuff is sexy, but it's good. Oh my god, but it's an alpha male kind of fragrance, you know? Not for Chad because he's a cook and I'm an alpha male, bro. But this stuff here has like an ambery, like labdomum. It's got like frankincense, cardamom. It's got like cedar, patchouli, and like a little bit more going on. But what it pretty much is, it's a warm, spicy fragrance with a lot of amber and some woods and like that smoky, resinous frankincense. Yo, this is bad boy, but it's also a very gentlemanly type of fragrance. Now, you know, I am no gentleman whatsoever. I am bad boy 24-7, 365, Captain Cringe all the way. But when I wear this, I feel bad boy, but I do feel a little bit polished, you know? I feel like a sophisticated mofo. But you gotta watch your applications because this fragrance here is not for everybody. It's, it's very much like none of the other Hugo Boss fragrances that I personally smelled and trust me, because I'm such a cheap ass, I've smelled a lot of fragrances from Chad's collection and he's got something like over 40 Hugo Boss fragrances and good for them for shutting down that guy's Instagram, you know? You know, he did copyright, so he, yo, that cup deserves it. But back to this fragrance, this just smells so much more manly and different than the other Hugo Bosses, minus I would say like the Oud Saffron. You know, that's a masculine type of fragrance, but it's not as bad as this one here because Oud Saffron, you know, it's kind of like Saffron and Oud, which is really nice, but they kind of like cuck it up with that rose, you know, you know what I'm saying? Mm, but this stuff here is way better. Performance, oh my god, it's even better than the Armani. This is like 12 hours, so less is more because the projection and the sillage are excellent as well. Number three, this is gonna be Gucci Guilty Absolute. When you think of Gucci, I'm thinking of like Fat Joe. Fat Joe, I love the rapper. I saw him in concert back in 2005. Well, you know, you know, your boy wasn't there, but you know, I was there in spirit. Chad was there, so, you know, he's a Fat Joe fan. You know, uh, who would have thought he he has a little bit of coolness, you know, but not like me. But this fragrance here is definitely a headache inducing fragrance. Like the performance on this is bananas. It's like 10 plus hours, projection, longevity, all that kind of stuff. Siage, excellent bros. But there's a lot of benzoin and vanilla. So the vanilla in this does add a lot of sweetness. And oh my God, it does fem it up. But what, what also fems it up is the orange blossom. There's like two different levels of orange blossom to add that white floral touch. But what also cucks this one up is gonna be the orris fruit. The orris does add that powdery touch. Now Chad personally likes it. He could totally get away with it, but not this alpha male bro. Absolutely 
not. But there are some redeeming qualities to this fragrance because there's like an ambery benzoin and you are gonna get that patchouli along with a little bit of like pimento seeds or whatever's there. The amber and the patchouli do man it up, thankfully, because the vanilla, the orris, but also, oh my God, the two levels of orange blossom really do make this a femme fragrance. This is marketed as a men's fragrance. Are you kidding me? This could clearly be a unisex fragrance. But I will say this one here. This one does have a little bit of class. You gotta be a proper gentleman. Definitely not like this alpha male. No, no, no. But if you like to wear suit and ties, which I clearly don't, this is a fragrance for you. Number four is going to be a, oh God, for a, they market this as a men's fragrance. No, this is a cup fragrance. This is definitely, this could definitely be unisex scent. And yo, that loser Chad definitely loves this one. I don't know why, you know. The guy is just nutless. I just, oh. Yves Saint Laurent myself. Now, I'm all about myself, but not this one here. In the opening, there's like a lot of bergamot, which is actually quite nice. And I like that, you know, like clean, fresh, you know, crisp, you know, kind of like your boy here. It really does gravitate you very much like my aura, my energy. I just gravitate to all the douchebags and all the trailer trash honeys out there. Yeah, you know. But I lose interest quite quickly, very much like when a girl says that she wants to be my girl. Hell no, I'm just looking for one night stands. You can't keep this guy strapped down, man. I'm a bachelor for life. But what makes me lose interest in this fragrance here is gonna be that orange blossom. Oh my God, there's a lot of white florals to this one here and that really makes this a feminine ass fragrance. That's why it's a unisex fragrance in my opinion or just like a lady scent. But what kind of redeems it a little bit, just a, just a smidge is gonna be that patchouli. The patchouli is the backbone. In the opening is quite nice but within like a minute, oh good lord. The white flowers come in and it really amplifies the fragrance. It really makes this a headache inducing scent. It's really heavy. You know, this, this lasts about like nine, 10 hours, but the projection as well, including that sillage is quite there as well. This fragrance here is definitely way too classy for me. And last but not least, to make this a top five headache inducing fragrance is gonna be JPG Lamal Elixir. Now, this is not exactly a masculine kind of fragrance like your boy here, you know? It's nice, but it's pretty headache inducing, very much like my personality. But it's pretty fruity in my opinion. There's a lot of vanilla to this, like, oh my God, like a lot of vanilla that does fem this up. There's definitely the honey as well. Like, no bro wears honey. The honey on this, I could definitely see this on the honeys. You know, the honeys that I bring home every single night. Well, I like to think that I bring home every single night, you know, but you know, you can't keep, a, you can't keep this bachelor strapped down. But there's like lavender and mint. Absolutely does have that Lamal quality. You know, I remember Lamal, yo, just loud, brash and annoying. Then very much like Chad, it got neutered because it got reformulated. You know, but it does have that quality of like Lamal, but but throw in that vanilla, mm, you know, benzoin or like some sort of amber. The amber does man it up, thankfully. There is a little bit of tobacco, which is kind of there. The tobacco, unfortunately, is not strong enough to cut through the sweetness. Chad's a sweet kind of guy, but he's a real loser. Not like me, you know, I'm a winner, I'm a winner loser. Don't ask me what that is, it makes absolutely no sense and I'm, and I'm aware of it, okay? But there's also a little bit of tonka bean in that that does add a little bit of extra sweetness to it. This is very loud, brash, and annoying, and it does have that bromy type of feel. This is perfect, however, if you are looking to go to the club and you are trying to shoot your shot with the honeys, like, like me. I try to pick up some of these girls out there, I keep getting shot down, but you know, it's just because I have too much alpha energy for them. That, that's the reason why. But loud, brash, and annoying. This is a monster because this lasts 12 hours. You gotta be careful with your applications, bros. And guys, that is top five headache inducing fragrances, new releases of 2023. Depending on how this video goes, depending with the likes and the views, 
I just might do another one like this next year. You really just don't know. If you like this very video, and if you like your bro Chasky, leave me one of these. Trust me, I really do appreciate it. Chad himself don't really like me, but you know what? It's, it's all good, you know? Sometimes I gotta man up this channel with my alpha energy. Any reviews that he or maybe I have done, they will all be down in the description box below. And because that this is a bro type of video, why don't you check out right here? All right, so I think with time, take care, and I will see you later, bros.